Hi everyone, so in the following video we want to go over the flow theme widget area. So first of all, let's just go on over to our uh, appearance widgets area. And here we have several options. Now to give you a brief run through what we have to offer here, we have a sidebar and you can create and add multiple sidebars as well and we'll go over that within this video. Then we'll also have a footer that can be split into four areas. So here we have the first half, second half, third half, and then we have the fourth half for the footer. So each of these have one fourth of the page in which you can add um, specific information or specific blocks of information to it. And then we also have a full width footer, uh, two areas for those, and then we also have an optional full width footer. Note that this is the only option that is optional to hand pick on specific pages. So if you want to enable this option, you'll need to click on yes right over here within the page settings. So I'm currently located in the home page area and I want to enable my uh, full width footer area. And this one over here. So let's just start off with this one uh, as it is one of the very basic ones. So we'll just expand this box over here. And what we'll do is we'll just add some text to my, uh, to my footer. So we'll just take this flow text area, we'll drag and drop it over here. So we'll give this title, uh, welcome to my website. And then for the subtitle, we'll add, I hope you enjoy it. And here within the text area, we'll just add some dummy text. So at this point, let's go ahead and just click on save. And we'll go here, make sure that this is enabled as yes. Now we want to update this page and over here we'll refresh our home page. So here we have the same home page. Here we have welcome to my website, hope you enjoyed and then we just have this text over here. All right, so if you want to adjust these fonts, what you'll need to do is go on over to our flow theme area and uh, just click on typography. And just scroll down until you find the widgets area. Okay, so here we have widget list. All right, so here we have flow images widget title, flow text widget subtitle and title. So all of that can be adjusted over here. All right, so let's just close this for now. All right, so now that we've added this, uh, we can go ahead and add an additional section to our widgets area and at this point what I want to do is just add um, I want to add a footer that consists out of four images or four four blocks basically so I'll in I'll enable this footer area so I'll just click on footer first and at this point I'll just take this flow text drag and drop it over here I'll add the title and this will be workshops so I'll just type in workshops I'll skip my subtitle and then add my text over here, but I want to shorten this text a little bit. Just about like this. And I'll click on save. All right, so for footer second, what I want to do is just uh, drag and drop an image. So I'll take this flow images. I'll take it here. I'll click here to select an image. And I'll just take one of these uploaded images from my media library, click on add this attachment. I, I have the option of adding a title so I can just um, right click here to register. And my button title will be click here and then button URL. Let's just take this URL copy and paste it here and then I can then also play around with some of my fonts and then I'll just click on save. All right, so let's go here to our home page and let's just refresh it and see what we come up with. All right, so here I have my text and then also I have this workshops area, I have a brief description and then I have this area where it says click here to register. I can click here and I'm essentially taken back to my original home page. All right, so uh, if you want to add additional two sections, you can always do so. So let me just close this footer second area. For the footer third, what I want to do is also drag my uh, flow text widget. 
so I'll drag and drop my flow text area. I'll add the title. Uh, this will be just title. I'll add my text. Let me just copy this text over here. All right, so I'll click on Save. And finally, I want to add another image to my footer fourth area. So this will be within Flow Images. I'll drag and drop this over here. And I'll click here to upload an image. I'll select this image, click on Add This Attachment, and I'll just leave this blank and click on Save for now. All right, so I'll click here, Save as well. Close my footers. And I'll go here to my home page and refresh it. So as you see here within my home page, I have four evenly spread out blocks of information. So here I have workshops, an image with a link to it, and here I have just a random title, some description, then also an image to it. So you can just play around with these footers and adjust them to work as you want. All right, so let's talk about another widget we have and we'll uh, look at the uh, flow widgets in more detail. So at this point, what I want to do is just enable uh, footer area two, and I'll take this flow text, I'm sorry, these flow images widget, and I'll just drag and drop it over here. Okay, so at this point, I want to upload four images. And uh, once again, I can just click here to select an image. And let me just take this image over here. Click on Add This Attachment. Once again, you can add all of your titles, buttons, uh, you can add the rollovers, hovers, whatever you want, all that can be adjusted here. But I'll just click on Save to save time. I'll just add this four images separately without any customizations. Add Attachment. I'll click on Save. Add another image and click on Add This Attachment and also click on Save. All right, now that I have three images, uh, what I want to do is just go over here to my home page, refresh it, and here I have three images that I've just uploaded. Once again, you can have the titles for these images, you can have them connected with specific links and so forth. So these are some of the customizations, some of the options you have with the footer areas. Uh, and essentially what we went over are some of the new uh, flow theme widgets that we've just created that are along with the lovely theme. Uh, you can also add additional widgets, for example, like Flickr photos, you can add latest tweets, uh, tags, social icons, um, all of this good stuff can be added into any of these areas over here. So one thing we just ask you to remember is that for any page, if you want to enable this very last footer, we recommend that you uh, be sure to enable this option over here. All of these other footers, for example, like these four footers and footer area one and footer area two uh, are not optional. They will display on every single page of the website. So uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're creating footers. All right, but other than that, we've pretty much covered the entire uh, the entire area when it comes to footers and how you can customize that. So um, in our next video, we'll just go over some of the sidebar settings. All right, so now let's just go ahead and talk a little bit more about our sidebar area. So as you see here, I have a basic blog page with content on the left-hand side, and then I have a right-hand side sidebar. So essentially, uh, first of all, let's just go over the blog page settings. And I'm located in Pages, and I have my blog page sidebar opened up. And for my page template, I have Posts. Next off, I have a right sidebar selected. I can also choose Left, or I can have just a full width, uh, full width page with no sidebar at all. Uh, so at the moment, I'll just leave it at right sidebar. And then I also have my view type as list view, grid view, etc. So I'll just leave it as list view with content on the right hand side. And next up, I have all of my gut, I have all of my categories shown on this page. And then I also have social media sharing and my page title and other stuff already pre-selected to show up. 
All right, so now that we just went over the page settings, let's go ahead and create a new sidebar for our uh, navigation. So let's just go over here and we'll call this blog sidebar. So we'll click on this button where it says add new sidebar. Now let's just go here to our widgets area and we'll refresh this page. All right, so now that we've refreshed this page, you'll see that we have this main sidebar and then we also have a completely new blog sidebar. Now at the moment, uh, for my sidebar, where it says right sidebar or left sidebar, I can choose any any of these sidebars I want. So as you see here, I currently have this main sidebar. If I refresh this page, I'm able to select a new blog sidebar. So this is the one. Uh, this is the one I want to customize at the moment. All right. So let's just go ahead and click on update. And now we'll start adding content to our uh, new blog sidebar. So essentially what we can do is just expand both of these sidebars and see which features we want to add. We can either drag and drop features from here if you want to remove them, for example, from the main sidebar, or you can just drag uh, features and widgets from this area. So I do want to have my search area within this sidebar. So I'll just drag and drop it over here. All right, next off, what I want to do is add, um, let's just say recent posts. And I'll add the title. Search my blog. I'll click on save. Now for recent posts, I'll title this, check out my recent blog posts, number of posts to show, I'll select only three. I'll click on save. Uh, next off, what I also want to do is um, add categories to my sidebar. So I'll just take this categories widget, drag and drop it over here. My blog categories. And over here, I can choose them just as a drop down or as post counts. So either of these options will work. So I'll just select it, this uh, post as a drop down and I'll click on save. All right, so now that we've added some very basic uh, widgets to our block sidebar, let's just go here, refresh this page, and see what we come up with. All right, so here you go. We have our search area, we also have uh, some of my recent blog posts. And then we also have our categories. All right, so we also have these titles and so forth. All right, so now what we want to do is add additional elements to our um, to our sidebar. Now, once again, if we just take a quick look at this main sidebar, we'll see that we have category, we see that we have categories, archives, recent comments, all of that good stuff is added here. Uh, I want to make this page a little bit more interactive and let's just say show some of the uh, magazines that my work has been featured in, for example. So what I want to do right now is um, I'll just close this one here. I'll take this uh, lovely flow text area. I'll drag and drop it over here and I'll title this as featured in. And over here, I'll just get some dummy text. I'll get a short piece of text. And just add it within this area over here. I'll click on save. Now what I want to do is add a float image. And at this point, I'll add a new image and I'll just select this image over here. And I'll click on add this attachment. Now I'll click on save. I'll close this area over here. And what I want to do is add another uh, flow image. So let me just get this flow image and drag and drop it over here again and upload another image from my computer. So let me see here. I'll take this one, 
drag and drop it into this upload section. Click on add this attachment. And it's been added, so I'll click on save. All right, so now that I've added all of my information, uh, what I want to do is just make sure, uh, actually, yep, all of this is added. All right, so now I'll just go here to my main blog page, refresh it. And as you see here, I still have my search categories, I have all that stuff, but then I also have a featured in area. So this is basically, you can add either badges, um, if you've been featured on several websites, you can add all that stuff over here. And you can just uh, customize this sidebar as you wish, uh, adding various elements. Uh, remember that you can add pretty much any type of widget within any area that you want. So anything from tags to pages to uh, even an additional sitemap if that would be required. So if, for example, I just want to uh, get these get a custom menu, I can just drag and drop this custom menu over here. And let me just title this as custom menu. And now I can select a main menu. Well, my main menu is basically, if I just head on over to um, appearance and I'll click on menus. Here I have my main menu structure set up. I can always create a secondary menu. I can create a new menu by just uh, titling it, for example, sidebar menu. I'll click on create menu. And uh, let me just get some of these pages. Add to menu. All right, I'll just click on save menu now. So let me just refresh this widgets page to make sure that I can, I can have my main menu up here. So custom menu, I have my sidebar menu. I'll just leave this without any title. I'll click on save right now. And let's just go here, refresh our main blog page. And as you see here, I have a completely separate navigation menu. So you can add a title over here, for example, check out some of my other information related to workshops, events, etc., etc. So that can be added over here within the sidebar. So as you see, the widgets area in the sidebars, the footers, they can all be customized. Um, it's just a matter of just playing around with them and uh, seeing what works best for you.